Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to get rid of tiling very quickly. Uh, this is gonna be a fast tutorial, so buckle in. Um, so open up your content browser, um, create a material, and open that material up. Um, you can name the material, but in this case, we're speed running, so that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, now you wanna bring in the ground assets. Um, I already have the ground assets in this one, so I'm just gonna copy from here. But in your case, just go into the uh, just go into your content browser and find it. Um, so here are the assets that, okay, it's there. It doesn't look like it's there, but it is there. Um, we're going to do roughness and then normal. Okay, so the reason why you don't see these, this is important. Uh, you have to click on, so yours will show up normal. You won't have an error like I have an error. Um, so click on the sample. Um, you want the one that's in your base color and the one that's in your normal. Uh, go over here to derivative. Um, yours should say none or mid-level. You want to change it to derivative. And then for this one, do the exact same thing. Change it to derivative. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to right-click and do texture variation. Um, and then you're going to plug in the UVs to both. And then you're going to do the DDX to DDX and DDY. And then DDX and DDY. And now that I even think about it, you can do it with this one as well. Um, plug it in and then DDX, DDY. Perfect. So now you're pretty much there. However, if you bring this in, uh, so I'm going to apply, save. Um, and then if I do this, I'm going to create a material instance. I'm going to click on this. Sorry, I click on this, click on this, and go down this little arrow. Um, you're going to notice that it looks good, but it's also quite large compared to the example. Uh, and if you want to change the size, you really can't. Uh, so that one quick fix is opening up, not the instance, is opening up the new material, uh, going over here and doing your classic texture coordinate. And then uh, S-click to get a parameter value. We can call this tiling. And then M-click for multiply. And then plug and play. And plug it into UVs. Now you're going to apply, save, close. Um, well, that went a little crazy. So let's maybe delete the instance. What'd I do? What'd a problem be? Oh, duh. One. There we go. Sorry, guys. Um, Okay, so now that that is set to a one, we can do new material instance. Um, I didn't need to delete it, but I did. And then there we go. Now they're both set, similar, uh, tiling, and then that's kind of the difference in variation that it's creating. So the more you play around with it, the more you're gonna notice that, especially when you're lower, you won't really see a good tile occurring. Whereas here, even if you're low, you still see the variation. What's happening is it's basically taking different LODs of the texture and layering it on top of itself. So you can even create a parameter value. Um, sorry, I keep going to that one. You can even create a parameter value right here. So S click and you can go into scale and then let's just make this one and we can make this variation scale. Um, save. And then now, that is how the scale is being normalized. And you can open up here. We can bring you down. And you can just see how the scale can change. So now you can have a smaller one. And then you can go quite large where you won't even notice it. But see how it's slowly changing the variation like that? These little lines of blending. That's kind of what's happening right now. So these are all these different LODs layered on top of each other that's helping add variation to the texture pretty interesting right and that is how you break up grid lines very quickly uh hope you guys like this tutorial um i'll have more coming up but uh like subscribe uh helps a lot and um yeah see you on the next one